The first thing you're going to do is actually go get your cord hemp. Um, I'm going to use a white one and I have already cut three pieces out and you can uh, make this as long as you want. Um, I personally don't want to make a wrap bracelet so I'm just going to make one that looks like this. So it just goes it just goes around once and it just fits perfect. I have about maybe about 15 inches here just to be on the safe side so I'm going to make a loop and make a knot. And you can make the loop according to how big your button is. So to do that I just get one of my buttons and then I just make sure it can go through in and out easily. And then what I'm going to do is put it, the loop right here, and then I'm going to make five or six little braids. You can make them tight, you can make them loose, it just depends on your preference. Um, I like mine in between so I just do a couple of these. about that far in you can go ahead and start placing the beads so you so what you can see I have two on each side so I'll just continue braiding so I'll put this one over here and bring the left into the middle and then you just keep adding beads to the outside strands Okay, once you've reached the end of how long you want your bracelet, I used about 24 beads on here. I'm just going to continue braiding without adding any more beads, so I'll do about 5 or 6 braids again. And then, I'm actually on the two, on the two outer strings, I'm going to make a knot. Make a knot like that. And then I'm gonna get my button and loop it through the middle, through one end, and then through another. So it will look like that. And just pull it through and then at the end right here you can just make a knot and then I like to make several knots just because I'm paranoid and I feel like it's going to slip anywhere but so it'll look like that but yeah 